today we're going to be the topic is we're going to be talking about the setup of the pump down low pressure control and basically with a remote condensing unit evaporator setup with the liquid line solenoid being the activation for the thermostat we have to have some way of turning off the condensing unit so basically that is done through the unit when the solenoid valve closes the compressor continues to run pumping all the vapor out of the suction line reducing the pressure down to a set point and then that in turn would energize close open the contacts on the low pressure control their fire therefore opening up the contactor taking the condensing unit compressor and condenser fan motor off that and there is different settings for that depending on what the refrigerant you're using and what the outdoor ambient temperature is along with what the unit's design operating temperatures are so always refer if you can to the manufacturer's recommendations or guidelines if you don't have that we definitely do not want to run the compressor out of its operating envelope all right, so if you run the compressor out of its operating envelope on the low end, you potentially start overheating it every time that compressor goes and pumps down. And if it's a Copeland, basically you can go through now with the Copeland mobile app. So when you open up the Copeland mobile app, it basically you can go through and hit the scan. And basically you can come through and scan and then come over here to the serial number and then when you scan the serial number, it will automatically pop up what that compressor model number is. When you hit on that, you hit with the application you're using. And basically, you can come through and see what the performance is. And you can go to the operating envelope. And it will show you what the operating envelope of that compressor is. So you do not want to, you want to make sure you do not set the cutout on that compressor below the operating envelope. After you click on the operating envelope and you see this, you look to make sure that your low pressure cutout is not set below that. Because if it is, you have the potential every time that compressor pumps down, you're reducing the refrigerant back to it to keep the motor cool and you have potential for overheat. Over a period of time, that compressor will overheat. When we look at the condensing unit to set up the low pressure control to correctly set it, like in this example on, our, on the Trenton unit, we have here, we have the cut-in, which would be basically, when you look at the cut-in operation, that would typically be your pressure temperature relationship of what the evaporator is that you're currently running the system at. And then your cutout, your differential, would be what the operating envelope or the manufacturer's recommendation would be for the cutout setting. So in this case, this has a cut-in pressure and then a differential, basically of pr pressure differential it is from cut-in to cut-out. 